Do you ever make pillows with ears? Here we go. Our nice little donkey ears. I love donkeys, but I don't want ears on my pillow. So here we go. We go up and down, up and down. These two pillows are actually the exact same project, the exact same fabric, cut the same. And then we trim the corners of this one, which gives us a nice square when it's filled. No pointed ears. So the technique we use, as we'll demonstrate here, we start in one corner lined up on our cutting mat and I use a four inch ruler. And the biggest tip to this is don't move your piece until your whole corner has been trimmed. I start in the corner, I take my ruler and I go over one and up four. And I just cut that piece off. Now I'm gonna come back to where I started originally and I'm gonna go up one and over four and nip that off. Then I'm going to turn my entire project to start in a corner again. Up one and over four. Nip it off. Over one and up four and nip that off and it looks a little strange but at this point with all four corners trimmed I can add piping or I can just sew the piece together and once it's filled with either stuffing or a pillow form it will be a perfect square no ears involved. And that's today's tip.